Okay, we should be back this week. Well, back. Don't know what we're saying yet. Yeah, uh, Richard has to go and have a quick pee, but um, apparently we need to start without him. Don't have to. Yeah, he he wanted us to. He wanted us to. City Times. That's gonna make a fascinating intro. Yeah. Uh, so how are you been? Talking to me or them? I don't know. I'm talking in general. Okay, How have you no been, audience? Leave, leave uh, comments as to your current state. If you wanted to just fuck off, just say that as well. I mean, if, if enough comments tell us to stop doing this, I think we should give the people what they want. By doing it more. Sure. Sure. So, yeah, there's that. Oh, my God, yeah, I see the thing you were talking about earlier. What? On the, um, this guy's hand. Massive thing. That uh, wasn't me. Yeah. Well, Rich is it that? Rich, we see the thing on his hand. His cast. Yeah. Must have sprained his wrist or something. No, I think it's um, he done a oh. finger and it's got to be strapped to a second finger. Oh, uh, okay. To like immobilise it or stop him using his fingers. Stop him. <coughs> stop him doing the old finger blasting. Moving on swiftly. Before you get finger blasted. Um, yeah, like I said, moving swiftly, swiftly on. From, from that. No one wants that. Well, maybe some people do, but hey. Moving. <laughs> Are you alright? No. Excellent. So, um, again, I don't get why Richard told us to start with that. Uh, we he, could do the gaming section now. Okay. Uh, play anything good? Not really. No. Judgment. That's it. So nice. I'm recording it. But gravely default yesterday, but only for an hour. Yeah, that and seems very I'm promising. about to play Lemmings now. You got it on your phone? Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's free. <laughs> wow, okay. And I'm back. No, no, no one cares no about one that, cares. Okay, No, they don't. Talking about mm-hmm. Lemmings. That's like a proper OG game. Yeah. One of the best. They look so funny. Classic graphics. Classic everything. So Rich, now you're here with your list. What's some of the what's the first thing you want us to discuss? Should we do the quiz? We're gonna stop just dive straight into a quiz. Normally what we do. We should let me get up some um, notepads. Okay. Twenty questions. What was the quiz on? Uh, World War trivia. Oh, okay. Nice cool. and light. Excellent. <laughs> and it's twenty questions. So what if you? What was? What did you say was a pass? Sixty percent. Something like that. So. And if Sydney fails, is gets to drink some tomato juice next week. I cannot fail this. Um, I will I might actually purposely give you wrong answers. Rich. You and jo- you, Sid and Joe have to drink. That's not really <coughs> for him to drink. No, because or me, if somehow you get more than sixty <laughs> percent. So we just put this to make Sid suffer if he fails. Considering he did A level history. How many years ago? Still did A level history. But it's A level history, but as a, a general history, not just specifically World War One and Two, correct? Yeah, it was a very general. Uh, we looked at Russian Revolution. We looked at um, Victoria Victoria politics. Politics. Trotsky, Trotsky. Right. So, what's sixty percent of twenty? Fifth. We would want f- about fifth. Fifteen. No. Um. So you should find. Oh, pardon me. Twelve. So you need to get twelve right. Yes, I should have been able to figure that one out. Mm. Right. Okay. Question. How? Wait a second. I'm just Ooh. going up. 
Is it fine out the question on this so I don't have to keep going through that? Okay, okay one. Mm. Pardon me. What two countries were already involved in mil in a military conflict before the beginning of World War Two? I guess that would be Germany and Poland. Because that was like the invasion that kicks it off. Read the question again. What two countries were already involved in a military conflict before the beginning of World War Two? Was there any other things, issues at that time? There was... Um, so you had the Italians' invasion, uh, invasion of um, Ethiopia. As it's now known. But I think that was, again, it was not like right before. Um, the Japanese, like, kicking off in like, China. China. But again, that but was, that was all more like of... mid 20s, early, later 20s. So then just do Germany and Poland, yeah. Germany? Poland. Cool. Question two. What was the longest battle of World War Two? Longest battle. Yeah. Would it be like Stalingrad? Would that count as a single battle? No wonder they mean battle to the would that be an actual campaign? Hmm. I, it's, 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 yeah, no, I think it would be like an individual battle. Well, as opposed to like the North African campaign. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, yeah. Uh, battle of Britain? Again, that was uh, quite a. Again, that wasn't really a. Actual battle was it? It was more, it was more like air skirmishes. Yeah, considered. Mm. Within the lemons, I think. Don't get the hell out of here. <laughs> no uh, battle. Put put a starting shot then. Go ahead, next question. Uh, what was the first Nazi con concentration camp? The first? Uh, yeah. It would be in Poland, wouldn't it? Nah, it begins with a D. Because it was before before they invaded um, Poland. And they basically rounded up all like, the political dissidents and stuff. I guess you want like a proper spelling of it and not just well, like the first letter. Well, if I can't see the screen. Sid's going to tell me the answers he wrote down. So essentially, he could just put the first letter and just tell me what he wrote down. Yeah, but if I just put the first letter, I'm still not going to have the full name, am I? Well, no, but you've got time to think of it. It's going to be like a German word, isn't it? Yeah, it's like Dachau. Probably not spelled like that, but... How are you spelling it? Wrongly. <laughs> uh, four? Yeah. In which battle did the Axis powers lose about a quarter of their total troops on the Eastern Front? A quarter? What was the... What, what, what? The battle, uh, maybe? Eastern Front. In which battle did the Axis power lose about a quarter of their total troops on the Eastern Front? Again, that could be starving class. Yeah, I was gonna say because that was really the position of it. It'll be east, yeah. Yeah. Basically against Russia, isn't it? Basically, well, yeah, that yeah. eastern yeah. front was. Yeah. So yeah, it'll probably be, be starving class, isn't it? That's it's, pro it's probably because the only other one big battle I could think of in on the east would be like Badakusk, but that was more of a tank battle. So 
be like more of a loss of armour, wouldn't it? Than yeah, than natural troops. Question mm. Go on. five. Yep. What was the name of the B twenty nine bomber that dropped the first bomb on Hiroshima? First atomic bomb on Hiroshima. What was the name of the plane? The name of the plane. Is it like an like a nickname just, or is it like the actual proper yeah, name of the plane? Yeah, it'd be, cause, the yeah, it'd be a nickname because the actual Cause plane should be like B twelve, B twenty nine. Yeah. So what did the the Yanks call their plane? Because cause wasn't the bomb called the Fat Man? Was <laughs> it? Yeah, because it's where Fallout Fall, gets, Fall out gets his mini nukes of fat boys. Okay. Oh, yeah, because didn't they always have like like the like bombshell pinup? Yeah. On the side of the plane, they always have like yeah big tits McGee or It'd be something like Betty or something, wouldn't it? Yeah. Flying Betty or something. Let's go with Betty. I mean, if it, if it's like Flying Betty, like you've got to guess that. Yeah. Which country, number six? Yeah. Which country must l- m- lost the most lives in World War Two? Got to be Russia, right? Yeah, because he threw the load of his own people as well. So, probably Russia, yeah. Seven? Yep. Which research and development project produced the first nuclear weapon during World War Two? Manhattan Project. Yeah, Manhattan right? Project. I wonder if the mic's picking up the little uh, keystrokes. If you push hard enough, it probably will. Uh, eight? <laughs> Question eight? Yeah. yeah. Which country sent reinforcements from the Division Azur to aid Germany in its World War Two attack on the Soviet Union. Division Azul. Uh, yeah, that's spelled A Z U L. If that helps. Azul. 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 Oh yeah, Azul is blue. Yeah. So Azul. It's Azul. Azul would be. Azul. Azul would be French, wouldn't it? Is it? I'm guessing it would be early. Yeah, it's the only people, wouldn't it? The Italian. Italians. Uh. Eight? No. Nine. What was the code name for the Battle of Normandy? Actually, I don't know. Oh, D-day. of course it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D Day. Is it? Is it that simple? Oh. Wasn't it? No, because wasn't it also known as like. Because you had. Like Market Garden and stuff, where they dropped people into like the Netherlands. That and was stuff. the yeah. paratroopers, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So is it just D Day? Maybe. Where's it? What was Overlord? Uh, May. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there was an Operation Overlord as well. Okay, put D Day then. Yeah. I've, I've right. Maybe. Yeah, we're, we're trying to like overcomplicate it for ourselves. Nine. Yeah. This is ten. Ten. Sorry. What was the largest battleship of World War Two? This is ten, yeah. 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 What was the largest battleship of World War Two? Very large. Quick, fucking Brezza's or Lane. Bismarck. That's, That's the Bismarck. first name that comes to mind. Is you can say the biggest. Bismarck. Um, the largest battleship of World War Two. It's the only iconic Prin- name that it's Prince. Prince Albert. Everyone had to. <laughs> everyone had to be chained down on that ship, didn't they? Jesus. Oh fucking hell! Like that was like a stipulation to get onto that crew, wasn't it? <laughs> to get actually have. You're part of the Albert. crew of the Prince Albert. It's a bonk. Got to have a little metal beast in big. Oh man. Like the whole chain to put this mark. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if we go down a rabbit hole that doesn't yeah, could, could, end it be like well. One of the. the Hmm? What about the Yamato? Yamato? Yeah, one of the Japanese ships. Well, none of their equipment was big, though. We'll leave that there. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note. Uh, Eleven. <coughs> what sure. was the first action the Nazis took against Jews? Uh, that was um, Crystal Knock. Basically, they broke up all the shops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can uh, okay, I spell it? Just put it with Crystal. 
Yeah, because it's German, they spell things funny, don't they? It sounds English, but it's spelled funny. Twelve? <laughs> so, I just like yeah. to apologise because... This is where we've got a large German following and they're all getting very cross at you. You think this or not? Ah, I know you're doing the voice! Nine! This is just going to end horribly now. I, I, again, it's not using the walls. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Considering we're doing a all, quiz about the all, war, yeah. all I've got in my head now is is that don't mention bezel, the bezel war. T sketch. Yeah, like, two steps. Ah, 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 Twelve. Which battle involved the largest engagement of tanks in history? I already right? mentioned that. Yeah. that was Kursk. Thirteen. Lucky. After World War Two. Germany was divided into how many zones of occupation? Two. Was it? To, would it count? Russian allies, wasn't it? Yeah, but Berlin was also split into two. Because Berlin was on whichever side of the country Berlin was in. So didn't it be four? Yeah. Shall I, shall I put two stroke four? Depending on how <laughs> we're going to count it. <laughs> But it's just going to give him the number. It's not going to give him the Yeah, reason. it's just going to give me a number. It's not going to tell me... Okay, then what do we say? Because I'm pretty sure Berlin's over to the east. But there's yeah. also like West Berlin, which is like the... But whether that would count as like its own zone. It's up to you. Let's go to. <laughs> this, is, this is where it's actually free. Free. Yeah, because if it's in the east, like I think it is, maybe it's like the whole of East Germany, mm. West Berlin, and then West Germany. Oh, you mean like split like that? Yeah. Well, no, but we know that Berlin was split in two was for the because of the Berlin Wall. No, but I'm saying is it like Berlin split in two, but the east side of Berlin is just East Germany, and it's just West Berlin that's cut off from everything. Like it's its own little capitalist island, like a communist state. Oh, we've gone to anyway. Fourteen? <laughs> sure. <laughs> what was the last major battle of World War Two? Last night was Battle for Berlin? No. Would it have been like um like a Japanese engagement? Like 'cause like it oh, was yeah, because they were still carrying on even though Berlin. Like a few months after. Well I don't know, a couple of months, a few months. Do no, you know any of the Japanese fights? Uh, I got like Iwo Jima, but again, I don't know the date. The date yeah. Midway again, don't know any dates. Should we just go to Berlin? <laughs> I think it would that just be that be enough of the answer. Fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What was the second city the United States dropped a nuclear bomb on? Nagasaki. Yeah. Oh, here's a spelling test. <laughs> I will be checking this one. <laughs> Her jokes on you on my weed. Ah. Sixteen. Uh, <laughs> jokes on you is because you are. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sixteen. <laughs> on which beach did the Americans run into a firestorm of resistance during the D-Day landings? So which beach? Oh, shit. Did the Yanks land on? Oh my half. Yeah. 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 Um, I've seen Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, it's that one. It's literally that one. Yeah. Yeah. I played the <laughs> Medal of Honor Allied Assault. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which really was just super. 17? Accurate. <laughs> super American centric as well, wasn't it? Yeah. What was the Nazi code name for the planned invasion of the United Kingdom during World War Two? Was it like Walrus? Walrus? I don't know where this has come from. What? I'm sure there's an what, what was the question? Uh, what was the Nazi code name for the planned invasion of the United Kingdom during World War Two? You can put Walrus if you want. I am the Walrus. Was that I'm what I'm thinking of with like Operation Overlord? <sighs> Maybe. I don't know where you got Walrus from though. It could be right. I'm not because I don't know. I'm sure there's an. Oh, I don't know where it's come from. <laughs> <laughs> but Maybe what does your gut say? What does your gut say? Walrus. Yeah, and stick with Walrus, then, isn't it? I'm sure I've just taken too many psychoactive substances. At this point. <laughs> this is 
since tripping so what on what walrus. Are you on now? We, we got walrus. 18? In a Nazi concentration camp, mm-hmm. a pink triangle identified a prisoner as... <laughs> so what did the pink triangle identify a prisoner as? Political... Yeah. But political. Or is it German? Nineteen? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Which in- what English code breaker created a machine that helped oh. to decrypt n- Nazis? I forgot his name. Benedict Cumberbatch. You play, he was played by Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, yeah what's Benedict his name? Cumberbatch what? played a- him in a, a film. Alan, Alan Turing. Okay. The last one? He, he, 20? Do you know why I know um, Alan Turing like that off the top of my head? Because of the film? Cause no, because um, you know how I do maths. Yeah. Whenever it comes down to like LGBT mm. inclusive stuff, and, yeah. like, trying to get Because he was a homosexual, wasn't he? It's like, well, maths, we can talk about Alan Turing. Oh, okay. But not not saying it's like a box ticking exercise, but, but he's like the first, first thing that comes thing up. That last up. question, question 20. Where was the first atom bomb tested? Bikini, bikini bottom. Bikini atom. Oh, I don't know, I'm laughing about oh, bikini bottom. He's a fucking SpongeBob from Mr. Krabs. It was, it was. And that's why, that, that's like why it like all this weird stuff's happening in Bikini Bottom. Yeah, bikini yeah. Bottom because they're nuked. Right. Answers. <laughs> Question one, which was, uh, which two countries were already involved in military conflict? Germany, Poland. Nope. You said it. Japan, China. <laughs> Number two. Stalingrad. Battle of the Atlantic. Three. The so, sorry, the Atlantic. Battle of the Atlantic. I'm just re. <laughs> Hold on. We're gonna. No, no, you can continue. Yeah, Last question, three? Yeah, because that would have been like most of the war, wouldn't it? Like interrupting shipping and stuff. Yeah. Uh, Dachau. Yeah. Way. Four. Uh, Stalingrad. Yep. Yeah. Five. Betty. No. Elon. Elon. You know, you know what I said about campaigns? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the longest military campaign. Ah, oh, see, he's a. Ba- the, the, the question medium. said. I didn't mean say. battle. When they meant campaign. What did you say for number five? <coughs> oh my god. What was that? That was a burp and a hiccup at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh, shocking. The, the Laura May. Yeah. I grip Betty. I'll be honest. Betty. Six. You, as soon as you start saying Laura. Uh, Russian. Yeah. Soviet Union. Oh yeah. Seven. Uh, the Manhattan Project. Not yet. <laughs> I was about to get out of the <laughs> I was going to be like where um, the Azores yeah. was Italian Spain oh yeah the other fascists the other fascists <laughs> uh, nine D-Day no Operation Overlord <laughs> <laughs> he said it as well <laughs> this is so annoying uh, nine Bismarck no you said this one again did he Yamamoto. This is this is really annoying. It's like <laughs> you know you know it all. Yeah. But you just you gotta know the pull specifics. it all down into this the right really order. Annoying. Eleven. Uh, Crystal Nacht. Which is The Night of Broken Glass. The anti Jewish blowing up the, smashing up their shops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That boycott of Jewish businesses. Okay. Well, you you're giving us that point, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. 12. Kursk. Yep. Number 13. Again, this is one where we said like, all the possible answers, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We said two. It was four. four. It was four. Yeah, we, 14. We, uh, the Battle for Berlin. No, Battle of Okinawa. Okinawa. Yeah. I'd say it was. It was, it was one of the Japanese uh, 15. Uh, Nagasaki. Yep. 16. Omaha. Yep. The Next one is the German nickname invasion. Walrus. You're close with Walrus. Operation Sea Lion. Oh my Not god, a walrus. that was so close. <laughs> Fuck. 
So Eight. what was Operation Aurora set? So Maybe no. What I was obviously thinking was Sea Lion, but Sea Lion obviously transferred into transferred a walrus. Into They're similar critters. Yeah. You're gonna get some weird. Turns out Joe finds a video on like vetting. Uh, oh what Operation Walrus this was a British special forces operation to parachute a party of eight Gurkhas for special operations it was an actual thing okay 18 fucking hell which was the political prisoners nope the homosexuals so Alan Turin which is also your next answer yeah and number 20 Bikini Atoll where's that is it a city or no well it's New Mexico then oh <laughs> I thought maybe if it's a city in New Mexico, I would have given you it. I don't no. think so. I think like it's I, I thought it was like one of those random, random yeah, exactly. islands. Yeah, exactly. It's one of those random little islands. Apparently, in New Mexico. Mexico. And they tested because I know they tested because on one, but then they realised that the, the wind or something was going to blow everything, so they evacuated yeah. everyone, and then it got yeah. derelict and left. Because I'm sure Bikini Atoll was a nuke test site. It probably it was. might have been. It, it might, might have been, been the in first. the um, but, but in later periods. Yeah, in the fifties. So how many did you get right? So no, what no. would that be like? A Cold War. Oh yeah, no, it would have been like just after the Second World War. Oh okay. There's also a submarine called Walrus. Was that one of ours? Yeah, the inhabitants were relocated in 1946 mm. after which island and lagoon were the site of 23 nuclear test sites um, up until 58. <laughs> I think we only did about five or six, didn't we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Tomato juice. I'm not buying it. I don't know, I'll buy it. Good. No, what I'll do is I'll buy some tomatoes and we'll make oh, the juice. Oh, you've got to eat. Oh, juice of tomato. Oh. You bring your blender. Richard's got a juicer. I've got an actual juicer. Yeah, I'll buy some tomatoes. I'm going to juice, juice it. Juice it. it. I can find like a proper recipe for tomato juice. No, no, it's just going to be it's just tomato tomatoes. Tomatoes. Chuck tomatoes in the juice. Oh, and but I'll put a little bit of basil in it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Can we have the cold cracks of black pepper? No. no I ain't spending that much money. No, no, I've got like pepper at home. Fair enough. Have, like, it's like a general thing in the kitchen. <laughs> it's not an exotic spice anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he brings the pepper! <laughs> <laughs> exotic spice trader. Oh, I've got some paprika in it. I thought you had, like, I thought you had like, a real thing for not paprika. I remember you going off on one about how it's in everything and you hate it. No, it's not that. It's just like anything that's like, it says, oh, it's hot. It's, it's paprika just like, it's just it. paprika. Yeah. That's not hot. Piri Piri is hot. Yeah. I think Piri Piri is the only spicy thing that doesn't have paprika in it. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Paprika is not hot. No. But it's got that smoky taste, isn't it? It's nice. Yeah, but it's just wet blankets coming out of the heat, and then they're oh, look, it's hot. Mmm, paprika. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not like, but I quite like paprika, but yeah, I'm not saying it's like a hot taste. <laughs> yeah, they, it's like the mildest spice, isn't it? It's like, put in a bit of chilli, though. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Why don't they just use chilli powder instead? No, no, you put the chilli powder in and some paprika, and it just brings out a bit more. Well, separately in a bag of crisps no 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 it's <laughs> like, like you make an actual like like chilli con carne oh like, yeah but put, like, they, they don't do that with crisps chili. though if you look at it it just says a main ingredient this is a paprika extract yeah right. Right. yeah right should so. we do the weird stories oh yeah sure <sighs> mine's got probably, an old to be fair they're probably all there yeah. mine's no mine's fairly recent I saw this on uh, the reddit well, mine, okay, mine's from the 23rd of Feb. No. Okay, 24th. I'll, I'll go first, I'll go first, because mine's quite funny. Mutant baby shark with human face found in mother's belly stands fisherman. What? Can we just go for that headline again? <laughs> Mutant baby shark with human face found in mother's belly stands fisherman. Abdullah and the wren found three pups inside a mother shark and noticed one of them was deformed. He's preserved the mutant pup as he believes it will bring him good luck. Sure. Might do. So, he was left baffled. Blah, blah, blah. He accidentally caught an apex predator while he was out fishing off the island of 
Roti Nidao in East Musa Tengara, province no, of Indonesia. Like a big or something. I suppose. Little did he realize the beast was pregnant with three pups. He found one of them with a distinctive feature: two large round eyes underneath its nose. In the video, blah blah blah. blah yeah, because sharks have caught yeah. quite low eyes to begin with. The unborn mutant pup has its eyes right under the pointed snout, rather than at the two sides. Oh my god! So instead of it being, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> Just sit down. <laughs> oh dear. that's awful especially the way he's got his mouth open and it's not because it's a baby one it's not got any teeth can you screenshot that and send it to Chico and put it in the podcast hang on hang. What's, what's the time what's the time shit stop ah pause half an hour in do you make a note of that Rich? yeah thanks oh look at this we're almost being professional mm-hmm. so oh my god there's the only deformed one in there. Uh, it he found it, of the, it says again that the, the mother was caught in a trailer trap. Or trawler trap, sorry. Oh, okay. The next day, I spit the belly of the mother shark found three pups inside. One with a human face. Actually, let me um, Jesus. add the photos. Wow. Right, I've got a proper photo of it now. Right, um... Uh, said he took the baby shark home to his family who helped to preserve it. He said the neighbours offered to offer to butt the shark. What? He he said that neighbours offered to butt the shark but he refused to sell it. Should that be by the shark? Yeah. Which yeah. is a typo. Yeah. yeah. So, wow. Uh, my home has been crowded with people who want to see the shark. Many people want to buy it and now we Preserve it instead. I think it will bring me good luck. No, no, I think sorry. I think it should be donated to like a natural history museum. I mean, it's just show me off his ass. <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> that's also an option, sure. <laughs> so yeah, that, that was my weird story. Rare, rare deformed shock. Oh, uh, should I go next, Sid? I do want to go next because this one, this one's funny. Yeah, this one's not so funny. Oh, but you guys, it's not there. quite as out there. But um, has anyone? Has, <laughs> thank you. For thanks. For, I just saw that little pop up in the little thumb now, and his little critters looking at me. So um, we've have you uh, like um CBD? Yeah. 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 Quite yeah, a big oil. thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's been put in oil. lots of like everything. cosmetics, hemp. Like loads of uses for hemp now. Yeah, clothes, everything. It's huge. Yeah. Um, aviation as well is getting in on the um. The old CBD. CBD. Well, not so much the CBD, but more the hemp. The world's first all hemp plane has been built in Canada. It's ten times stronger than steel, and also is fueled by hemp. Mm. I mean, it's <laughs> <laughs> everyone at the airport everyone is just off off the tip it's, to it, it doesn't look remarkable. It looks like any sort of small, small aircraft. Yeah, I suppose it would be more down to the engine and stuff. But it's um, more compelling. Yeah. Oh, he put, he put, off. <laughs> he put a massive, Four massive times. gange leaf Good. on the tail thing. Um, but yeah, um, apparently it's essentially made with fiberglass using hemp oh, fibres. Okay, okay. Um, which makes it that little bit lighter and that little bit stronger than conventional. Um, and the um, fuel it runs off is hemp oil. Okay. So again, it's kind of but how what's the distance yeah i was say can, I, can um, I travel to the to the us of a well considering he was born in this is in Canada. okay can i travel over here then i don't know because it's a it is a light aircraft it is like a it two seater like yeah i was gonna say oh, okay. yeah, like... so are you probably um fly over the atlantic then yeah um he, and he's got plans that um the body and wings are made from composite hemp fibers that are 10 times stronger than steel Okay. Uh, the company also make uh, another load of hemp based <laughs> products. <laughs> I've uh, got hemp plastics, that sh- that shop. hemp surfboards, hemp phones. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just thought, you know, it's, it's just a different it? way to get high. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, in, in all seriousness, like, like if it can be worked well what was it during World War 2 um, all farmers in America were forced to grow a certain amount of hemp to help with clothes and stuff yeah 
It could be like super sustainable. Yeah, and you can buy it. You can buy it so quickly. Yeah, and apparently it doesn't need to be chemically treated to make paper, like trees do. Yeah. Make it white. Yeah, so you know. But obviously, they they wanted to ban it, and then they yeah, there was a big thing about like penalising the loads of timber people industry for sort even of wanting to like yeah, because they're a bunch of bellends. Yeah, but so got rich. Now well, that I've raised the tone into like some sort of. Okay, my story comes from the good old US of A, yeah. Alaska, to be more Ooh. precise. Yeah. So, so not far from Canada, really. So the title is Woman Has Scare, right? Woman has scare. An Alaskan woman had a scare of her life when using an outhouse. Was there a polar bear in it? In the balcony, and she was attacked by a bear from below. I was right. Right. I got I got out there How and sat down on the toilet, and immediately something bit my butt. Right <laughs> as I sat down, <laughs> this bear is like. So Rawr, Shannon Stevens called the Associated Press on Thursday. I jumped up and screamed when it happened. That's the right would. reaction. No, the, the worst reaction is from. Oh yeah, fight me harder while you're pooping. Stevens, <laughs> her brother that Eric and his girlfriend had taken snowmobiles into the wilderness to stay at his hut. His brother heard the screaming and went out to the outhouse about 150 feet from their main... Wow, so it's not like it was just there like... There he found Shannon, Shannon tending to her wounds. They first thought she might have been bitten by a squirrel. And then they saw the bear. Or a minx, or something small. A minx. Yeah, go on. Eric brought his headlamp with him to see what it was. I opened the toilet seat and there was just the bare face. <laughs> just right there at the level of the toilet seat. Just looking right back through the hole. Right at me, he said. I shut <laughs> the lid as fast as I could. <laughs> I said, there's a bear down there. we got to get out of here now. I <laughs> said, I ran back to the yacht. The yacht. The yacht. Yacht. As fast as we could. Once safely back inside, <coughs> they treated Shannon with a first aid kit. They determined it wasn't that serious. <laughs> yeah, because you imagine you need to get stitches in your ass. But they would bed. have... It's coming out getting your ass eaten. <laughs> but they would yeah. head to the hospital if it worsened. It was bleeding, but it wasn't super bad, Shannon said. <laughs> it was bleeding, but it wasn't super bad. Wait, you, it might be like a broken surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, like the next there. morning, they found bear tracks all over the property, but the bear had left the area. They could see across the snow coming up to the side of the outhouse. She said, the figure of the bear go, got inside the outhouse through an opening at the bottom of the back door. Oh, so like where you like go into... Scoop it out, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. to clean it. But why would a bear go? This is where we need to be right now. Maybe, maybe because it had been cleaned out recently, and it was like a slightly warmer spot, kind of bit. You know how like mm. some of some bears like bears like caves and stuff. Yeah, but uh, the the smell, even if it's clean, you still smell yeah. human shit in the air. Maybe so bears like it. Well, clearly you don't, because he was telling them to hurry up. Mm. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe it's oh, it's weird. Um, <laughs> no. He's getting his dinner. <laughs> Freshly hot. <laughs> oh, God, still warm. Wow. As it trickles down his chin. Oh, <laughs> trickles. <laughs> oh. Getting all, all matting up his fur. Shit bear. Did they say what kind of bear? Yeah, because in Alaska it could be like grizzly. Uh, brown, we need the poo. Just we need the poo. <laughs> Is there a honey they don't say, but the pictures of a grizzly. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing I'm it was guessing. big old grizzly. Um, so yeah, there we go. <laughs> we've had cannabis planes. We've had mutant sharks, mutant sharks and women getting bit on the bum, bum by bears. Well, 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 I'm guessing we're fresh. Let's go with this. I'm really scared about <laughs> finding one for yours, mate. Just Google. Ask bear bites. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what would come up if you just did that. You write into the search bar, bear biting bum. <laughs> or you'd be, I'm you'd not get that, putting that in my search. You probably get that video with the dude kicking the bear. Yeah. Oh, that was terrible. So, so a while well, back, we were totally deserved that. <laughs> he kicked him. The bear's like, what the fuck? He's going up. 
Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> he ran away. He's like, it's only now I've found I did. Yeah. But what, what is our? Because we have segments now. What is the next segment? Hold on, I'm looking for bear bites ass. Yeah, oh, I've got images of bear <laughs> biting bum. No, all you. <laughs> no, all you get is oh, like. Oh, look at that dude's face. Yeah, that's just shit on his face. Is it? Yeah. Uh, why does he have shit? Why? Well, you know what I thought it was? One picture you do was... get is of a bear's ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at that booty. Check mm, that booty. Thick. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway. Before, before I go, I'm not part of this conversation. Before it's I go thick. down a rabbit hole, I don't want to go down. Um, if you go rabbit hole, you can go down there. Yeah. Uh, I, oh. <laughs> oh my god, these. I'm sorry. Just, um, these so I'm next sorry. is an old t- old thing we've brought back. It's his drink. Oh, your drinking problem. And just just to ah. just to remind people that the only so it's one to ten, <laughs> one being pissed, one ten being. The holy how many are there? How many are there? All together he's done. What? How many? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Thirteen drinks we've done. And so two are ten and out of ten. Two are ten out of ten, and they are <laughs> Ocean Spray Cambry and Blueberry Juice <laughs> was a ten out of ten, and Del Monte Pineapple Juice. <laughs> right. Okay. So before we continue, I feel like I need to defend those tens out of tens. The way I look at it, right, every drink starts off as a ten, and I, I, you then like subtract points away from it for like criticisms. <laughs> how how do you criticise pineapple juice? Like, what is there not to like about that? So, so same with cranberry and blueberry juice. It's just like there's nothing wrong with that. That's like you can't but, you can't criticise it. Yeah, but that means all the whiskies that you have. So you've got uh, uh, yes, Rub- so, so you can criticise Rubicon pro- pomegranate. You managed to take a point off Rubicon pomegranate. Yeah, because because it's not just pure juice. You you managed to take a point off Japanese whiskey. Japanese whiskey. That's what you call Tommy to title it. That's what it is. You took yeah, do a point off Glen single malt twelve year. You took a point off that. Okay. You took a point off whiskey, uh, the Welsh whiskey we had. Okay. And you took a point off Loch Lomond. There's a lot of whiskey involved. Um, and none of them are as good as juice. So why do you drink whiskey when juice is so much better? Be- because I like. So what have we, I like what have we got? What have we got today? Juice is a lot cheaper than whiskey. <laughs> Fucking hell, is it? <laughs> what, is it? What, 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 what are you drinking it? today? I am drinking some Panavulin. I'm holding a bottle so I can spell it. Uh, that's what I've got me for Christmas. That's uh, Speyside Single Malt. Um, Thank you. It's a nice, nice light colour. I was going to say it's amber, isn't it? Yeah, lovely amber. Not, not too uh, stinky. Stinky. <laughs> Is this your? Oh, you know, uh, you yeah. do me. He should be. They should be like a you do me cast for of, um, whiskey tasting. That's probably you. My my um my sister bought me a book, a couple of books like um, Beginner's Guide to Whiskey. Hey, have you ever read it? I oh, no, I read it. I read the important bit, like the whiskey tasting. And she also bought me um, the uh, thousand, not thousand, hundred whiskeys to try. With to try See, to me, you whiskey, all of them just smell the same. Yeah. Yeah, this this one's not got like the most distinct. You need to take a picture and put that on me as well. And how far are we in? Uh, we're some time in. Uh, we are 43 minutes. And, um, yeah, it's just. Um, it needs to be put in the bin. No. So, out of 10, what is it? I don't know. And why? For me, it would lose a point for the smell. Because it just smells like every other whiskey. It can smell like barrels and they'll have a difference. But that might be just me. That might just be you. Uh. Yeah, no, it's got a soft... It's, it's got... about five ten minutes into us just sitting here waiting for him to give yeah. us a verdict it's hard man it's um slight slight citrusy smell slight sort of citrus kind of and um quite yeah quite a sharp sharp taste as well but it's still got like quite a nice long I like that aftertaste and sort of 
a slightly oaky kind of. Well, what's, the, what, what's the verdict there? Um, I'm gonna say eight. <sighs> Dear eight. me, that's your second. Th- there's only one thing worse than that, apparently. Oh, Vinto Fizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I feel like, I, like legitimately, I feel like I've drunk a lot more whiskey since we've done those like first reviews, and I feel like. How is your fault for drinking them? So you said eight out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like, like really good, but I. Again, I'd rather it was more of a. Um, more of like a peaty kind of. Taste to it. You want it to taste like dirt? <laughs> no, that kind of. I'll just go get some soil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dabble no, it. you filter it through dirt. Oh, that's like a thing. No, I'm, I'm gonna not drink that then. <laughs> like the cat poop for coffee. Oh, oh I'm, yeah. I'm, like I'm kind of stirred by the idea, but I would try it if someone said, "Here's some Civic Civic coffee." It's bad, though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. People exploiting kittens by putting them in cages and force feeding them berries. <laughs> Just eat it. <laughs> yeah. But you can still get your foie gras. <coughs> hmm? You can still get foie gras. Uh, the stuffing of the birds. Yeah, and yeah. Then, yeah, yeah. goose livers. Yeah. Um, I mean, dumb signs, ain't it? It's because posh people enjoy foie gras and everyone enjoys coffee. Mm. But moving on. I was going to say about those little birds that you can get. Oh, like a partridge. And you just eat it. Oh, just you just eat it whole. Yeah. Yeah, you told me about these. I thought it was just French again, I think. Yeah, just like tiny... Like them French. And uh, they, they're like cutting frogs' legs while they're still alive and they just leave them to die. Really? Their guts hang out. Have you never seen I've never seen that. I don't no. want to Google it. Google it. How they get French uh, frog legs. I thought they... I mean, you'd have to get a really tiny stun gun. I'm sorry. Correction. There was something worse than Vinto Fizzy. Oh. oh. Six out of ten. Oh. The, gl- the Glenvale Founders Reserve got six out of ten. Really? Because that sounds really fancy. Founders Reserve. You told you six out of ten. Fair enough. I've just like a disclaimer. I, I don't know in the way anything. you can appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate we may this. have to re-review some of these. Maybe. But it's not buying them, Rich. I'm not buying them. You buy them. So what, what do you want me to Google, Rich? Nothing, it's fine. <laughs> come on. <laughs> no, I've done it. It's fine. No, no come on, what is it? How they get fox eggs? You can Google that if you want. No, I've got no. No, thanks. Oh, I've seen the video. Yeah, they're, they're alive still. Oh, man. Yeah, it's from... Uh, should we talk about the £3 thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Money. Yeah. Investments. Ooh, money. It's only getting in there some £3 thing as well. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you say well, yes. Are, yeah. <laughs> right, let's put in three quid. So we're we doing this with Go on, Explain it, explain mm-hmm. it while we put money in. God, I've just got such weird pictures. <laughs> <laughs> well, the last right. few pictures. Three, three pound is in. Yeah, Rich, so basically. Can you make a um, comment of that, like, minute 48, yeah? Because, like, we'll include the second picture, but I just want to put in this first picture. Because this is Richard after today's football match. See? What? Angrier than a oh, dog in a raincoat. Yeah, the angrier than a dog in a raincoat. 48, 48, minutes. 48 minutes. I am as angry as a dog in a raincoat. Because, of course, he is. Are you writing the time as well? You put it? Yeah. Oh, you are. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Fucking hell. So, basically. <laughs> basically <laughs> Sid and Joe are going to put, so tomorrow or tonight or tomorrow morning, three pound in the stock. Yep. And then before the stock close, market close, whichever one, they're going to cash out. Yep. So just, just and then over one tu- day. Yeah. No, yeah, and then, conti- then Tuesday, whatever they have left, they put into another stock. So whatever we make, so even if, we make, if it goes down to two pound fifty, take it out. If it yeah, goes up to five pounds, you put the five pound in. Okay. Down. And I'm going to be doing the three pound, but I'm going to be picking a bet each day. And if it wins, the money goes on to the next so and so. Why can't they just? You, just need, you need to find the stock that's it. Are we going to do the same stock? I was about to say, are you going to do the same stock or different? I feel like we're doing different stocks. Do, do two different stocks. Okay. 
because then that gives. No, I'll write these down. So so I'm going to put some more money in as well because it's just. I have some more money in. Do I already have? Yeah. What? What's that? Apparently, it can't make my payment. It's illegal. Oh shit! Rumbled. Huh? Shit! I've been rumbled. Oh. Each morning or the night, you're gonna send it to the group which one you bought. Yeah, you have to send a picture of we're selling it as well. Yeah, and I'll show a picture of whatever the bet is. UK gas. Just as in UK gas. Yeah, gas is hard. Uh, I need to find something that will not hold me out to like till the end of time. Yeah. Uh, what's that? I might just go for AMD and put like three pounds into AMD. Get like like zero point zero zero two of a share. Yeah, I was looking at AT and D. So how long are we gonna like give this a? How long are we gonna do this for? Do it, do it till next Sunday. Do it till next Sunday and yeah, see. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. it it went see down last week, but it went up yesterday. I already yeah. know the bet I'm going to do for tomorrow, so I'll put it on now. If I'm going to spend... Okay, I've... I've, I've okay, I'm that's even worse. I was going to plug it into I, IBM, and then... Right, go on, Sid, who have you got? Uh, AMD, Advanced Micro Devices. How many shares was your... 0 0.05. And that's £3.03. Three pence. Okay, that's fine. I'm sending the buy order. Oh, I've still got £7.03. To, um... Okay, I want to get... Right, I'm going to put the value in, £3, pounds, which gives me... Of zero point one four nine of a share. So Joe's gone for AT and T. A and T. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you, you have to write this down. I was so writing these down. So write what he. Um, um, let me make a new. Uh, preview order. Stop net order. Right, the order is pending. So. Just to uh, show you. There's 50p in the account. Yeah, there. so Single. that was A, T, and T. Yep, three pounds. Buy some more bio lays because they've like dropped. What did you do, Sid? A uh, A AMD. Mac objects. Yeah, graphics, graphics cards mainly. AMD. Yeah. Uh, even though I use the NVIDIA GeForce stuff, yeah. Uh, 2060, I think, is mine. Get out of here. I, I know. I, to, I need to upgrade to the uh, 3080 Ti, whatever it is. That's Did you get a new laptop already? No. No, he's just going to buy it and then do it himself and hope for the best. Oh, are you really going to do that? No. Oh, okay. Have, so you, have you not seen like the big old fuss that for these like? Because you know how they, there's essentially a shortage on graphics. Is, yeah, not graphics nice cards. Thing. Everything. Because short, basically, um, yeah, microchips coming out of um, South right. Korea and Taiwan. I think they're like the biggest producers for the world, and like there's a big shortage of them, and it's affecting everything from cars to. Yeah, it's, every, it's affecting everything. Yeah. So my bet 
is going to be Everton just to win against Southampton. And we're going to compare your betting against our yeah. Stockholm at, at the end of the week on Sunday. So yeah, next yeah. Sunday. Well, we can't bet on Saturday. No, so we'll end it Friday. Friday, yeah. Because yeah. that, that, otherwise that's unfair. But yeah, so Everton just to win against Southampton tomorrow. Which will obviously win. Yeah. How much uh, will we get back? To six see? six pound fifteen for my three pound bet. Oh, I've got the same one P. And there's somehow to Southampton. Updating my stocks. Just buy more. Win. Just buy some stuff like Ray Bourne too. And but then I'll be sad. The like um, kind of collapsed a bit. And it's good to buy cheap and sell less cheap. All right. <laughs> 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 Who's Everton got? Southampton. Everton should get the job done. Mm. If not, I'll be as angry as a dog in a raincoat. Um, Bitch, that's a um, 55 <laughs> minutes. Gonna make, gonna make some spicy moves. Um, we'll, we'll try. Well, you I'm can. gonna try to make you some spicy moves. Uh, so um, has anyone bought any new uh, stocks this week? Like I was just saying, I just bought some more BioLays because they bio dropped. Lays. They dropped since I, I bought them. Uh, biologic like lasers basically no it is literally that simple when yeah medical oh, lasers okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's a good company now, isn't it? you're making medical lasers bio lasers it's not like I think I just all I bought this week for HCMC HCMC that was that court case thing yeah yeah and the the other side is trying to dispute but apparently they don't actually have a pattern in the first place so I don't know what's going oh. on there because that's what um like the pattern had to be in the properly or something yeah, there's something in the group saying about that. Some guy actually tried to look for the so-called thing um, that this other people have. Apparently they don't have it and they're just stalling at the moment. <coughs> oh, that's I don't know. Uh, what else did I put? Oh, I added some more stuff to the wish list. Or watch list, sorry. Yeah. Uh, gold and silver. Yeah, I was going to say, the only like, things that are doing well for me are... Um, it should be minerals. Mine. Oil, minerals and... Uh, that kind of stuff yeah earthly resources EasyJet sort of managed to pop back up a little bit yeah because they're um, well all the air, well, air yeah. products will go eventually and um, that's why Eve Eve mattresses oh did it go up yeah I I, I've been sitting on them for a while I saw it quite, quite a little bit I, I got fed up and it's just like because every time I opened it up it was like yeah 10 feet down 50 feet down, <laughs> down like, like, ain't it? the, the thing down. is you can either kind of play it like like in terms of like quite short short term, yeah. Like yeah I want yeah. like to sell this in like a month and have some profit, or you can kind of just Hold not it. give a crap. Not Diamond hands it. it. Yeah, and just be like, oh wow, I haven't looked at this app in like a week now. Ooh. Wow, this has gone up. Mm. And not worry about like the what's the daily. highest thing you've ever sold that you've made profit from? I don't think I've sold much. Like collectively, yeah. roughly. I don't, think I've, I don't think I've sold what I've bought. If week. I go to like um, my history, and the plan is that I've when they get to right. pre-COVID high, sell them. Oh, okay, yeah. Because it's too high. The highest thing I sold Ooh. was naked. Because before all the uh, Wall Street bets and that, naked was like one of the first ones I bought when I started doing the investments. And for some reason, one day I was like, "Oh, what's going on here?" And it turned out that Wall Street bets, were some some people were being like pumping it a little bit not pumping it but buying into it and it forced it up and it made 63 yeah no, the oh. only thing I've sold the biggest thing I've sold is Bank of America the only thing I've sold was share. um Wishbone Gold because that was actually like oh. a loss that oh. was like one of the ones where we was like oh put a tenner into it and see oh, what happens it was one of those so and it was just like that one two quid down that yeah. the 10 pound after one. nearly a month and my like, yeah, no. my oh what, which one was it Is it MGC Pharmaceuticals? Ooh, pharma. Mm. Yeah, it might have been. Well, one one of them went super high. And then I thought, okay, let me hold on to it. And then now it dropped. <laughs> Fair enough. It's always the way. But prim- the, the African minerals. Yeah. They're three doing three well. pounds seventy. That return at the moment. I don't think mine's that high. My best Why? return. Did you not buy 10,000 shares? I didn't buy 2,000 shares, no. For a fiver? I only, only bought £4. 
Morpheus shares. Huh. So you should be close to that then. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised about it from you. Yeah. Well, well, not surprised, but it was a nice surprise. But I knew the oil in Paris is going to go up anyway because people are going to start using the oil again for everything. Yeah. Because it's going to be like plastic and stuff, isn't it? So. Cool. So um, that's that bit done. Yeah, investments. I just need more money to put into it. Yeah. That's always the problem. Um, I've always found something that's cool. Really yeah. I mean, that's cool. But I don't want a super diverse portfolio, <gasps> so I'm fully stretched and I think, oh, I just want to really put money out no. into the things that I've already bought. Or yeah, yeah you know, there's like a trade off. You need to like diversify. But you also need to make big enough investments to see a return. Yeah, because even. What you need to do is you need to start off with like a million pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this guy. Where are you going to get a million pounds from? Crime. Cri- crime. Great. Fantastic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a crime. What, what crime are you going to do? Uh, probably a financial one. Financial crime, great. At least it's on your record then, isn't it? Shit! <laughs> I'm not going to do a crime. <laughs> I would do become like one of the Wolf of Wall Street. <gasps> just like trick everyone and yeah. just like... Oh yeah, because like, that, that video clip you sent us when it's just like, I was, like doing like motivational quotes. Yeah. And it was like that clip from Wolf of Wall Street and it was like, did he not realise he was like basically just a con man? Yeah. Just like oh yeah, from no. Coffeezilla. If anyone wants to co- watch Coffeezilla, watch Coffeezilla. He's quite good. He calls out loads of um, people that call themselves gurus and stuff, and it's just all bullshit because they're just sending you a course just to tell you how good you are at doing stuff. Basically. Yeah, it's like these adverts I keep seeing on YouTube. It's like, oh yeah, do you want to see how I made this amount of money? It's, it's like, like oh, selling yeah. on Amazon and stuff. I yeah, it's it like don't bother with this. Don't bother with this. I could tell you how some I make this amount of money in a month. So I think it's like, well. Like, I can see what your job is. <laughs> <laughs> Selling people fucking courses. Yeah. I, I have a feeling that you make your money from selling me courses. I, the course isn't then going to be to then sell more people courses. If it is, that's some sort of fucking pyramid scheme. <laughs> so get oh, the shit. people that he sells people courses <sighs> to get them to sell courses. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the next lot, they will sell courses. Until everyone's done the course. And then the but, the courses, but the courses are continuous. Oh, so at one point someone will sell him a course. No, no, no. He'll just keep making random courses. He'll re- reinvent the yeah. course. Oh, so how to like, train up to, like how I have to do like safeguard training every year. Yeah, yeah. And he every, just does everything. It. He's got like a, a small amendment here. Use yeah. a wording or something it wasn't quite right. It doesn't cover this section. Yeah, this oh, section like, no, like new things have like come to light. Where? No, this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you do this very small thing to your account. You won't have to pay fifty pound tax or something like that. It's yeah, like, but this year, yourself as a charity. <laughs> Again, don't do that. That's probably illegal. Unless you are a charity, in which case, or, or you get like that. have your family members. Th- it was a way of doing something. I can't remember what they said. Wasn't it like um getting around lockdown? You basically paid like ten quid <sighs> to make a um, a company and register yourself at a company's house, and then oh. have a, ha- hire all your friends and family. Then have it was that, yeah, or, yeah. office party. Don't do that. That's not good. Who said it's illegal? It's it. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's legal, but it's not quite moral. On that note, I ha- should we end the podcast? Maybe before I say anything you else. Say, you haven't done anything about gaming, bitch. Oh, no, I haven't. Have you? <laughs> uh, Who's played video games this week? <laughs> not Rich. Not me. What have you been doing instead? I can't say. <laughs> Okay, that's for Is this like me doing my crimes? No, it's because I've not done much. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Fair, at least you're honest. It doesn't sound like, okay. I've been watching a lot of anime though. Yeah? A lot more than I have done for like the last two years. Wow, we just jumped on it. Yeah. Uh, You've just gone hard wee progression, yeah? It's mm. good. It's one of those things, ain't it? You've like, you could talk about your Udemy, bruv. No, because you're supposed to be talking about your photography as well. Yeah. Right? Okay, so, so that his his gaming section is about him like, taking new <laughs> lessons. <laughs> is, 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 is it like a game? Do you like level up? No. Do you get stuff? Well, yeah, you, you level up yourself. Actually, technically, yeah. I, I mean, I guess you do like a level one course, and you can like apply for a level two course. Or no, no it, doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Oh no, it's Buy not. a course. It's literally you have a course. They will give you videos. That some some do quizzes. Some do. Um, like along. coursework and yeah that kind of thing it's like papers that you can read that they'll publish and stuff like that cool 
Last time I, I had Rick Ross was nearly a year ago now. Yeah, because you're not know, referring to that place to do your course thing. Yeah, I was. Good, good, but I work in a school, so basically it's like, oh, schools are closed. Mm-hmm. Here, do a training course. Yeah. I was like, okay, cool. I had to do it basically took me about an hour a week. Yeah, for I six that, weeks. You had to go to Central London, didn't you? Did you not? I thought you had to go somewhere. No, that was oh. my Duke of Edinburgh stuff. That was ages ago. Oh, okay. This was in like the last lockdown. Oh, okay. So and it's basically... <laughs> so you just sat out. And it's basically like... It, like, to be fair, it would have been one of those courses where if I didn't do the job I was already doing, I would have found it really informative. But it's basically like, this is your job. Yes, basically, it's just a... It was very so you much... you a, a refresher, basically. Because I already do like a... Yeah. My job's, i going to say, specialist. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it, it was kind of a lot of what I knew already. If I was working in a more general role in a school, it'll be like, and I wanted to move into that specialisation. Yeah, yeah, it would have been really informative, really good. Okay, but yeah, no. So then, what was the point of you doing it? Then? Just got, to tick a box, basically. I, I got qualification, yeah. got a certificate. Oh, you actually got a certificate. Got a certificate. Oh, okay, okay. I've got a you level. had a test or anything for it? Or no? Uh, again, Just it was like finish. that weekly, weekly tests. Oh, okay. That took me about an hour, but it was like open book tests as well, so I could be like, oh yeah, it's this, this, this. Or how, how's, what's the exact phrasing for like, like every now and then there'll be questions like the 1985 Disability Discrimination Act. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh, what year was the act? Oh shit, was it 95 or? That's cheating. Check, check the book. <laughs> <laughs> you, say, like, you say you check the book, what you mean is you got your phone out and just Googled the thing. I was doing it on my laptop anyway. Yeah. Just open a new tab. Yeah, yeah open a new tab. But no, it was, it was good. Like, you, should, you always try and like, do some sort of betterment. In yeah, one way or another. Um, maybe. What do you mean maybe? 100%. Yeah, well, depend. depends well, you on... Well, you could be like really lazy like I uh, used to be. Depends. I mean, it depends on your yeah. personal situation. I mean, if if you're kind of at a stage where you feel like... It's it's like you try and do something for this, you know, like a real big cause of anxiety or something. Yeah. 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 Actually, is it, is it then worth like the mental health impact of whatever to get something do you get, do you get something better out for it that can make your life better though yeah yeah I was about to say, I was gonna say then you should push for it or take yeah. drugs to, just for that period sure just go, go to the doctor and say I want, I want to do this but I know yeah. I'm going to get like an anxiety attack or something and then it might help you out or give you some sort of way of dealing with it yeah um, sure the only thing that keeps you back is yourself is that Wolf of Wall Street? <laughs> yeah, it's one of those <laughs> fucking shit things. Get, get that fucking on a poster with like a guy in a suit. Or may, maybe, you know, like, those sort of like driftwood planks. Like the worn string. Oh, no. Like one of those ones. Make a whole new flat. Get on bondage gear. Like a leather gimp suit. With that and like rhinestones. Why? Because then it would be ironic because you wouldn't be held back by just yourself. You'd be held back by like Stone ropes and chains and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That went very weird there. Sorry. <laughs> Apparently, uh, stop drinking whiskey. Tam Uh Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that was just doing his Udemy. For which he's now disappeared because he needs to go to toilet. Yeah. Mega dump. He said that he's, he finished two of the courses. Yeah, something like that, wasn't it? Basically, just having to watch videos, but. You're but he said there was a do along thing as well. Yeah, you're getting a raise at work. So. Oh my god. Yeah, Which let's not again, talk about my work. Getting progress. I want to leave that at work. The only, only thing holding your back, yourself back is you. No, money is holding me back at the moment. I yeah. ain't fucking paying sixty pounds for a course. I'm waiting for the flash sale again. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Don't don't do what some people do and quit a job with nothing to then go into. Yeah, I can quit the job. Thieving, bro. Oh, start doing crimes. <laughs> yeah, like you <laughs> want to do a crime. <laughs> Surely so it's better to be working. Because I want to do a crime. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do crimes. Surely it's better to keep your job and do crimes at the same time. Yes. Again, nothing <laughs> to incriminate. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, I've got this side hustle going on. What? Crime. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose technically the investments is a side thing. Yeah, but again, like, I feel like 
again, you could. I don't know, like. What? For it to be again, for it to be proper, we need that big initial investment, don't you? Unless you like super lucky. Well, jump on a move stock at like the exact right time and. Oh yeah, I suppose. Like no, not things. even a meme stock, like just one that explodes. Yeah, yeah. something that just like, kicks off and then. Like, if you get get any, that's the thing, ain't it? With any sort of, basically boom and bust, isn't it? You got to jump on it, at the just right before it peak feels, and then get off the train and as, jump before it busts. Yeah. yeah. That, that's why I want HCMC to kick off. Anything that kind of is even if that goes up to like fifty cents a share, fuck me. You'd be quitting. Well, I've got 13,000 shares. You'd be hundreds of quid soon. <laughs> yeah. Maybe thousands. If you've got 13,000, then it goes up to 50p. Or 50 cent. I didn't pay, I didn't even pay, it's like yeah. 0.006 of a share. So even if it goes up to like one cent, you'd... Yeah, you'd get a decent return. You'd, you'd be 10 times the amount you've paid-ish. Then, but then probably after that amount, I'll have to start worrying about tax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, of course you don't want it, but then you could just keep it invested and sort of slowly drain it. Yeah, but they've slowly drained it what for over a year to the next tax. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. assuming no, it then because if you because once you because you because once you when you when you sell it and it's in your account, mm-hmm. that that's capital gain straight away. You have to pay tax yeah. what's on there. Yeah, because what is it? It's twelve thousand, isn't it? Twelve thousand. Four hundred something fairish. But then, like, if so you, you make sell ten thousand, you sell up to ten thousand, and let the uh, and, and then leave, leave it to, to rebuild up, unless it dips. Yeah, but then, but then you, again, then you're only losing. Not even, to be fair, you might not even, you might not even lose it. It'll just be a loss of potential profit. You won't make a loss per se. You just make less profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is what I'll do if. Yeah, you just make take out the ten grand and then. Yeah, just so going back to um. Oh, but then See, ten grand, this, is, this is what I was saying to everyone at work. I'm not at the moment. I don't really care about making like super crazy money. I just want to pay for a desktop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah what? So you're looking for like I wanna, two grand. Two grand. I want to. I yeah. want to buy a new lens. And I've seen one for two grand ish. Yeah, exactly. Like See, everyone's so I can take pictures of stars. But then, uh, then you go to Simon's account and he's like yeah, four grand up. But that's only because he's putting. A few he's putting yeah, again, it seems like he's got that a big. It can make these big initial investments. He, he lives with his family, doesn't pay rent. Oh, so even like even we who live with our house still. Pay I have to pay rent. Yeah. See, I've, t- I've bought. I mean, it's nothing well, compared to what I, I pay. I believe he doesn't pay rent because he always seems to have quite a lot of money. Yeah. And he has, he wears Balenciaga trainers. And he does the same job as you. And he's he's the manager, team uh, leader. Ah, uh, okay. But then like what? Else? He doesn't have. Can't be that much more. What? Oh, is that six grand thing? Oh. Oh right. Okay. So it's just six grand extra a year. So what so. That works out another five hundred pounds a month. Yeah, about that. Pre-tax, post-tax. Not. Yeah. Again, not not a huge amount more, is it? Not really. But I don't think he really buys. He doesn't do like us buy games. Oh uh, right. right, so he he's expenses the swag clothes, swag clothes on his phone. Then because like his, he bought the iPhone twelve. Like, oh, he didn't pay cash. Yeah, he bought cash as well. Yeah. So yeah, I bought three courses on Udemy. Very much courses. Yeah, we were oh, talking we, about we, you. We were saying. Well, yeah. You said that you finished two. That you said I've done two. I've got one more to do. What's the one that you need to do? The food photography one. Oh, I thought that would have been the first one you do. Yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck you. <laughs> To be uh, fair, I reckon he doesn't keep the food on his plate long enough to take a photo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do not! <laughs> so, <laughs> so the food photography was one. What were the other uh, two? Photoshop and Lightroom. So, so all very similar kind yeah, of all areas. Very photography centric. Mm. Yeah, How were the classes? Yeah, I, I enjoyed them. The, they, what were the teachers like? Yeah, the, just because I don't know. Maybe I've got the wrong impression about the one economics guy. <coughs> He's very um, abrupt. Oh, right. Oh, no. The, the and he proper ripped into one guy who did a review of, like, one star. And he was like, ba- basically, if him. you read it, you know he's shouting. 
Oh, dear. Oh, you know, the like two teachers I had for the two courses I did, they seemed they nice. Seemed right. I, I think, like, with teaching, it's, like, especially, like, an online course, it can be quite, quite good, because it's, like, again, working in and school. And he, he, like, he went slow, yeah. but not, like, too slow that you were... Because you said that you had to do a do-along, basically. Yeah, and he yeah. was going, like, just at the right pace, not fast enough that you would get... Lost. Completely lost. And then you could just pause the video. Yeah, you, that's so. also an option. And you've um, got lifetime access. To lifetime it. access. So like in a year's it's time. A similar thing. Um, if you, if you want to, again, it's school. It's like a GCSE level stuff. What is um, Oak Academy? Oak Academy. Oak Academy. Well, it's like Oak National Academy. Um, we've been using their resources quite a lot at oh, okay. school. Is it free or? I I, don't, I have no idea. I've no, I've not used it personally. It's been like stuff for like art and ICT. Where like quite specialist subjects where the teacher's not been available to set oh, work. Okay. No, There's been like okay. a last minute shit from Yeah. Whatever. But like what, again what, so what is it like structured courses or what is it? Um it's like from from what I've seen it but like also like you do like it's like media, it's like oh um like understanding media sort of thing. Like an intro to like media studies. Yeah. And it's broken down into like six half hour long sessions. Okay. And it's like each one's got a video to go with it. And it's like, pause the video now and write your answers. And right. kind of oh, thing. it's like that kind of thing. Okay. And like the, the like free that I've been like involved in is like quite interesting. I really like the art one. Mm. Like the art again. So the art teacher was just like, like yeah, do this, do this, go through the steps. Like pause it now, let yourself catch up. And yeah, yeah. and like yeah, no, it's like interesting. Like I'm not good at art, and I was able to follow along quite well. Wait, you was able to draw something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. It was like um, doing a portrait of a face. Yeah. And it's like start off with your egg, drawing your sketch lines. Oh, yeah. Here, yeah, here, yeah. and here. Get the proportions right. Your nose is this long. Your eyes are the same. Each eye is the same width of the nose. Your eyes are. The nose is the okay, okay. Mm. But yeah, no, it was, it was interesting. I don't know how like varied they are, but from what courses, they, like, what level they go up to. Yeah. I know they do sort of GCSE secondary level. Mm-hmm. Get access to it. Give it to us. Um. Yeah. Sure. I will. Like when we finish recording, I'll have a look. Cool. See what it is. Yeah. No, we're just going to the school. Yeah. Just. Yeah, just. Just. Uh, just turn we'll up. shave our beards. Yeah. Pop, pop, I, I, like like I, I'll, 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 we have a. I'm not gonna say that. We don't have I'm a. Not gonna say that. We don't have like oh, a strong really uniform. Cool. Like black trousers, white shirt. That's it. Yeah. I'll put a beanie hat on so you can't see my bald head. That's how bored you are. Yeah. You'd look about 12, yeah. <laughs> and on that note... <laughs> and on that note... We will end the podcast. It, again, this feels like we're going back to that doing crimes thing. Like, don't incriminate yourself too much. If I put on a beanie hat, I look about 12. <laughs> <laughs> Hope oh, you enjoyed no. the podcast. <laughs> oh, I mean. oh, no. And we'll see you next week. Bye. I'm not 12. That's actually a flip stop.